marks the anniversary of Carpezia's overthrow of the remaining communist old guard and its replacement by a progressive democratic government. Two years ago, Prime Minister Valent Lesko, a man of royal blood... That was three weeks ago. The now they cut their broadcast feed, but some of our people managed to get out the raw footage. Now, this photo was taken in Budapest the following day. Alan Rees, on the right. Five eyewitnesses identified him at the assassination scene. Now, that's Noel Severin on the left. He's Reese's advance man. Reese was the CIA attaché to the American embassy in Carpathia. He worked hand in hand with the thugs who overthrew Lesko in the first place, and then he went underground when Lesko returned to power. So now Reese is freelance. Well, he sells his services to the highest bidder. In this case, Lesko's political enemies, of which there are many. Now. Lesko's daughter is flying in tomorrow. His daughter? Why? Carpathia is a democracy, but it still has a few old traditions. Until its parliament can elect a new leader, Katia Lesko is the acting head of state. Julian Wilkes, foreign affairs expert. Uh, at least one of us reads the newspaper. Well, she's finalizing a series of trade agreements with our local industries organized by some of the city's Carpathian expatriates. Now, success will help keep her country economically stable. We believe Reese will go after her as well. Washington is standing back until the smoke clears and Carpathia is a fully recognized government. So, discreet protection is the answer. That's where we come in. No, I am not a bodyguard, Delia. I'm asking you to simply drive her from the airport to a safe house and then to the trade talks in the morning. Or a limo service. Joe. Imagine the effect on the city, politically and emotionally, if a world leader were assassinated here. We're also talking about a Cold War stockpile of nuclear missiles, which could go on the arms market if Carpathia falls apart. Right now, Katya Lesko is the only one holding her nation together. Where's all the security? Look, she charted me to fly, and I flew. I mean, how did I know she was some big shot that did her entourage? Well, where are they? Uh, runway 6. Look, at, she went ballistic when I answered their radio call. I don't need this aggravation. I'm going back to flying commercial. Your man has a stop. Hey, you, driver. I'm being followed. Put my bag into the car immediately. The day after tomorrow. A time when criminals rule the city. The only weapon that can stop them needs a driver. A man without a memory can be supplied with a little cosmetic fine tuning. He'll be our driver. Let's initiate changeover. Three, two, one, activate. The most wanted man on wheels is about to change sides. Now, against a corrupt system, a lone fight for justice. Viper is taking back the streets. Is this the way you dress to escort a foreign dignitary? Where's your uniform? You're looking at it. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Take me to the nearest nightclub in town. Thanks, but you're going where they want you to go. And where would that be? Somewhere safe. I'll take responsibility for the change of route. First a little entertainment, and then the safe house. How does that sound? Sorry. Got my orders. Stop this car at once. Let me out of the car. Wouldn't be a good idea at 50 miles an hour. I said, let me out of the car. I'll tell you what, you figure out how to unlock the door, you can leave. Hmm. I see your game now. 5,000. Any nightclub, anywhere. You find me amusing? 
just find it hard to believe you come halfway around the world just to do the town. It wasn't my idea to come to do these trade talks. Why am I explaining myself to you? You're my driver, not my nanny. Just doing my job. Believe me, if I were your nanny, I'd send you to bed without your supper. This way, you're, uh, you're... What am I supposed to call you, anyway? Your Excellence? Your Highness? I haven't taken my father's office. I have no title yet. How about your nothingness? Katya, why did you run from your escort? I wanted my privacy. And if you should tell me what you want, so I may get it for you. You mean so you can tell me what to do, Sarat? I'm not a child any longer. Of course not. You represent a great new nation. And as a secretary of state, I want to make sure that you receive the respect you deserve. Driver, could you please take my bags and put... Uh, the uh, driver can put them in the guest room. The trade talks begin precisely at 9 tomorrow. This is yours. I had your father's ring sized to fit you. Wear it for your country. If you can bring these trade talks to a successful conclusion, you will cement your position as your father's rightful successor. Sarat, I already told you, I am not certain I wish to take my father's office. But your people wish you to do so. At least you must behave as a leader. Your father was the first man since Alexander the Great to unify Carpathia. You are the only one who can represent that unity. I am not my father. You will have to do. Driver, I expect His Excellency's daughter delivered to trade conference at precisely 8.55 tomorrow morning. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. and Mrs. Wilkes. Good night, Kat. Uh, Ms. Lesko, I'm Julian Wilkes. This is my wife, Mara, my kids, Ronnie and Lucy. How do you do? We waited dinner. We thought you might like to join us. I roasted a chicken. You cooked it yourself? I expected servants. package. They're at the safe house now. Not the best place for you to do your business. Obviously not. If I wanted career advice, I'd ask you for it. I bet there's more money there than you've ever seen in your life. America, eh? Like they say, you get rich quick here. <laughs> Nobody gets rich quick, sport. Around here, we work for a living. Yeah. Well, I'll show you to your room now. It's down here at the end of the hall. And if you'd like anything else, you just let me know. I'd like to go shopping tomorrow. Can you arrange it? Well, I'd be happy to take you. Good. Be ready at uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, I have a job, but I could meet you after work. You work and you cook your own meals. This isn't the America I expected. <laughs> that makes two of us. Surely you don't intend this room for me. I I'm sorry. I mean, if you want our room, I could... Forget it, forget it. These are the accommodations. 
I don't know how it works in Carpasia, but here the guest accepts the bed they're offered. Joe, it's all right. These are friends of mine. Show a little respect, okay? This room is totally unsuitable for a head of state. Since when are you a head of state? An hour ago, you were a little party girl looking for a nightclub. How dare you speak to me in that way? I want another room, and I want another driver. It's this or the couch, and you can't fire me. Mom? She can stay in my room if she wants. Really, I don't mind. I mean, my stereo's up there, and I got a lot of great discs. Thank you, Miss Wilkes. But I couldn't ask you for your bed. This room will be fine. Okay. Night. Night, honey. Oh, sleep well. I'll be out here in case you need anything during the night. Fine. You may leave. Oh, I suggest you set your alarm so you don't oversleep, and we don't have a handmaid to bring your breakfast in. That reminds me. My attendant will be accompanying me tomorrow. Since that car of yours only has two seats, she'll need a driver of her own. I'm not your social secretary. You are here to see to my needs. If I can't fire you, then at least I expect your cooperation. Or uh, should I contact your superiors? OK. You need another driver. I've got just the man for the job. Hey, 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 Sparky, watch the threads. It's your, will you tell these Euro thugs I'm kosher? Don't these jamokes and all the iron curtains been sold for scrap? And what's all the commotion downstairs? International trade talks. Hush, hush. Hush, hush. My eardrums are bleeding from all the racket. All right, what's this favor you want me to do? I'm supposed to take this official and her attendant shopping. Shopping? <laughs> Forgive me, Joe. But I mean, your fashion sense is a trifle thin. <laughs> Not that it doesn't look good on you. Anyway, this attendant needs an escort. You're volunteering. No, no. And if I may say one more time, no. I do not double date a cramps my style. It's not a date. I take mine in the Viper, you take yours in the Cuda. OK, wait a minute. Give me a little more info. What is this girl like? She's, she's Carpathian. Forget about it. I'm not babysitting some babushka at Bow Wow as a favor to anybody. Driver. This is Katya's attaché, Fatima. I want them back by 10 o'clock tonight. No drinking, no dancing, no exceptions. You may bring the cars to the service entrance where it will be less conspicuous. Fatima, this way. Oh, got my eyes, Joe. I owe you for this big time. How's my hair? So, how'd the talks go? Why do you ask? Just make a conversation. In my country, we only ask questions when we really want to know the answer. So how'd the talks go? Well, I think it's very difficult for me. Since my father's death, I've been pushed into a life I'm barely ready for. You seem to have handled the responsibility, particularly with Sarat. He's an old comrade in arms of my father's, who thinks he can use me like a tool. I thought you were both working for the same result. He would say so. But I won't be used by anyone. Not even Sarat. So, after we go shopping, we hit the clubs? No. I've got specific instructions. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. 1971 Clement Barracuda. Franklin, X Waters, ma'am, at your service. I'll be your driver. What is the X for? Extremely available. This is your automobile. Guilty as charged. Boy, you really know your cars, huh? May I please to look under the hood? It's a landmark in automotive history. Could you, could you show it all to me later? After we have shopped till we dropped? Yeah, sure. Why not?
Try this one. Mara, why don't you try this on? Oh, I don't think so. You don't like it? Of course, I love it. it it's beautiful, but... Let me buy it for you. A gift for your hospitality. And something for the children, too. I couldn't let you do that. Oh, I insist. I was rude to you last night. In Carpaccia, a gift is always sent as an apology. Really? No. <laughs> but a custom must start somewhere. Please. You talked me into it. <laughs> No chance. I wish. Heart attack. What about this one, Frankie? It's a little on the demure side, if you will. What is this demure? Safe. Boring. Dull. I don't want it safe. Right. A tough guy. Now, can I tell you something? <laughs> this, this is you. Yes. Hey, Joe, can I tell you something? I feel like Oscar de la Waters here. <laughs> Behold, if you will, my creation. Yo, Fatima! <laughs> I'm the Jersey girl side, don't you think, Frankie? Great, huh? You know, Fatima was in the motor pool of the Carpathian National Army. She even taught your highness over there how to drive. Franklin, please, could you choose a belt for me? Franklin? I don't want to get too familiar, Joe. I am trying to act like a professional here. This one for the nightclub, yes? No. I saw one on the corner, one hour. You prefer this one? Maybe if you're nice, I'll let you dance with me. You don't give up, do you? You're beginning to get the picture. Isn't that the saying? What do you think, Joe? Have you seen Frankie or Katya? I thought they were with you. Frankie! What's wrong? I think I've just been ditched. Because she said you said we should. She said you'd be right over to join us. The hell is wrong with you? Huh? Bad enough you nearly got yourself killed. You almost took my friend with you. And the rest of us, for that matter. Don't lecture me, driver. I'm not your driver! I'm calling the shots now. You understand? You understand? 
Get used to it, all right? The Reese is on our tail. We gotta find a new safe house. This is it. Poke out my eyes. Franklin, this is magnificent. Thanks. Oh, uh, your room is right through there, Your Grace. Okay, so who's hungry? I'm starving. Katya, look, pot pie. I must have this. And so you shall. Turkey, pot pie for everybody. Oh, uh, hey, Joe, you can bunk in my room, okay? I'm gonna make up the sleeper here for Fatima and uh, I'll take the first watch. <clears throat> Fatima, I got just the movie for us tonight. After you. Ah. There we go. I think you're really gonna like this. Joe, you okay? Yeah, we're over at Frankie's. Is Katya with you? Yeah, Fatima too. You should get a hold of Delia and get over here as quick as you can. Be there as soon as we can. What do you know about the guy who came after you? Only that he killed my father and that he plans to kill me. Even after my mother died and I was my father's only family, my father kept me away from politics and himself. He loved me, of course, but we were never close. Now and then, he had me stand beside him and behave presidentially. I found it difficult to mourn a man I barely knew. And now I'm suddenly expected to die for principles he never taught me. You're not expected to die. Then worse yet, I'm, I'm expected to live to be like him. I am not my father. I can never become him, however much other people may desire it. And this party girl you think I am? That's not me either. I only behave like this because I'm afraid. What do you want, Katya? I want a normal life. I never asked for these responsibilities. Believe me, I know the feeling. Do you really? What were you doing at a nightclub, anyway? Don't ask. Reese isn't the type of man who'll drop a contract. The only way we'll collar him is if we draw him out in the open. I agree. You got any ideas? Just one. We'll use Delia's sources to leak word on the street that Katya's ditched her bodyguards, and she wants to bargain with whoever's after her for her safety. Wait a minute. I thought we were supposed to be protecting her. Well, of course. But trust me, Joe. The level of danger to Katya will have to be held under control. But if Reese bites, this time we'll be waiting for her. You mean you want to use me as bait? I won't allow it. Neither will Sarat. It's my decision. You don't have to do this, Katya. Reese killed my father. I want him caught. Please, Katya, to bargain with your life? If I don't do this, I'll always be looking over my shoulder. All of us are in danger tonight. I have to stop this now. Okay. I think there might be a way to make this happen. Tell me what I have to do. It's all arranged. A girl wants to negotiate. She's gonna meet us in the old industrial district across the river. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. Information comes through the right sources. It all checks out. Makes sense. She's young and worldly. And terrified. Nice work, Severin. I demand to know where you're keeping Katya. This is an outrageous breach of security. Mr. Secretary, I think you should know that your security has already been compromised. Metropole just found one of your guards dead in an alley. Dead? Katya is safe with us. Right now, the less anybody knows, the more secure she'll be. She's my responsibility. That's enough, Sarat. Who is the leader of Kapaja, Mr. Secretary? You are, of course, but... I'll see you tomorrow at the talks.
Let me know when you're in position. We'll close in on her from all sides. Shall we? safe house. It's amazing. I wanted you to see it. To explain to you that I understand how you feel. But I don't understand. See, my name used to be Michael Pate. I was a criminal. And something happened that gave me a chance to turn things around. I was able to help people who needed help. I never asked for these responsibilities. Why didn't you refuse? I was in the wrong place at the right time. I think you were too. You sound as if you believe in fate. I just believe that there's some things you can't turn away from. First names aside, 
I'm still just your driver. You're fired. Hey, Joe, what are you up to? You there? I had to bypass your signal block for crying out loud. Yeah, we're here, Frankie. Hey, since when do you leave us out of your right itinerary, huh? Surratt's busting my chops trying to find out where you are. Everything's okay. Reshow his face? Nowhere, no how. And Thorne says that if Her Majesty there can uh, wrap up the talks tomorrow, we can get her home before Reese regroups. Well, you get a good night's sleep, and we'll meet you at the hotel in the morning. Sure thing. He's right, you know, Joe. When the talks are finished tomorrow, I have to go home. Both have our work to do. Tomorrow. Not tonight. Will you do one last thing for me? Driver? Sure. You're nothing, miss. My country is surrounded by mountains. Before I go, I'd love to see the ocean in the morning. With you. Some kind of energy field has been blocking your tracking device. They may be near powerful electronic equipment. That would interfere with the signal. Ah. It's back online. She's moving again. Heading toward the coast. Of course, even as a child, she was fascinated by the sea. Why did you kill my guard, Mr. Reese? It's bad enough I have to trust you, Surat. Why risk letting one of your spear carriers identify me? That man was blood loyal to me. Just like you were blood loyal to Lesko and his daughter. Hmm. American irony. Find Katya, eliminate her, and pin it and ask her. Prove to me that you're capable of more than just shooting old fools standing still at parades. She's been lucky. Her luck's just run out. Just as yours, if she's not dead before sunset. You want your most generous fee for services rendered? I want the country. Kill her and make us both happy men. It's so beautiful here. It's like standing on the edge of the world. So what happens when you go home? More meetings with the cabinet. And if I close the talks here, then there's the question of accepting office. But sometimes a leader has given up her responsibilities for other things. I think we both know that wouldn't be right. My grandparents' marriage was arranged by their families. They never even met until just before their wedding. It's no longer that way. Perhaps it was simpler when one didn't have to make such a difficult choice. Here you go, nice cup of mocha java. What, did I make some kind of Carpathian faux pas? Maybe I should have offered you tea, huh? Oh. Or bullion, maybe. I must speak to Katya. I don't know what she wishes to wear for the conference this afternoon, or if I should make travel arrangements. Hey, she'll check in, Fatima. But she's gone all night, and... Don't worry about it, she's with Joe. Hey, what could go wrong, huh? Hey, this better be important. Where the hell's Joe? He's at the power station. I'm at the power station. The Viper's gone and Joe's not answering the car phone. Something's not right.
tracking us. Something you're wearing or, or carrying. What's the meaning of this? It's Katya. She seemed to have disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? What you got here, Mr. Secretary? It's a tracking device. Traitor. Fatima, is man who wants to save his country from the wolves a traitor? Sometimes to best serve the state, a leader must fall. But to kill Katya? This is not a fable. A folktale where a child must wear her dead father's crown. She will destroy Carpathia. Sir, as a duly authorized police officer, I am detaining you on the suspicion of attempted murder. Murder? I would simply call it politics. Hey, comrades? Secretary. Mm -hmm. Katya. This way. Keep going. friends. Let's go. Not much more I can do from here. It's up to you now, Joe.
End of the line. Lose the weapon and turn around. I'm going to drop you just enough to keep you down. And then I'm going to waste the girl. Yeah. And you know what? When the authorities arrive, you get the credit for the kill. Drop it. I'd really like it on my own resume. But I guess I'm just a generous guy. <laughs> You got one of those suicide pills on you, Reese. You better eat it. You've avenged my father's death, Joe. All those years he served my family, only to turn against us. I'll never really understand. It means he's very persuasive. It's like Surratt's under arrest. Father be proud of you, Katya. Close the trade agreements and kept your country together. Carpaz just stays together and we split apart, Joe. It doesn't seem fair. I'll miss you. I never really thought I'd hear you say that. I want to give you something. Call it my first official presentation. Thank you, Madam President. The homing device is still in place, so I'll always know where you are. It is my service medal of the National Army Motor Pool. Dima, I don't know what to say. Say nothing. I would just cry if you do. Goodbye, darling. Though, huh? Giving up the dames for the good of democracy. Hey, can I tell you something? We should do this more often, you know? Helping out the huddled masses yearning to be set free. You know, Joe, I think this is gonna be the start of a beautiful friendship. Sorry, Frankie. Got my hands full rounding up the usual suspects. Wait up, will you? 